Hi guys, today we are going to learn about Kirchhoff's current law that is KCL. Okay, so according to KCL, sum of currents entering through a node is equal to sum of the currents leaving the node. Sum of the currents entering through a node equal to sum of the currents leaving the node. Here, what is a node? Node is a point at which two or more elements are connected. At which two or more elements are connected, where division of currents takes place. Node is also called junction. Node is also called junction. So now let us assume a junction point like this. Okay. So towards this point, there are uh, different currents are flowing like this. Okay, and see, let us say this is I1, I2, I3, I4. So, okay, these currents are entering to this node and I5 and I6 are leaving the node. I5 and I6 are leaving the node. Okay. So, see here. Some of the currents entering. What are the currents entering? The currents entering are I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4 or the currents entering to the node is equal to currents leaving. What are the leaving currents? I5 and I6. Okay, some of the currents entering through the node is equal to some of the currents leaving the node. We can write I1 plus I2 plus I3 I4 minus I5 minus I6 is equal to 0. So, with this we can say the algebraic sum of currents meeting at a junction is equal to 0. The algebraic sum of the currents meeting at a junction is equal to 0. Okay. Now, we will do a problem on KCL. Okay. Our circuit is this one. See here, in this circuit, we have two current sources. Two current sources. One is 10 amps and another one is 5 amps. And let us assume that a voltage is connected between these two points. Let us say this is A and this one is B. A voltage is connected like this. Let, let us assume. Okay. So, the main thing here we have to concentrate is in case of parallel circuits, parallel circuits, in case of parallel circuits, voltage is a constant. Voltage is constant across each and every element. And current division will take place. Current division will takes place. Okay. In this circuit, let us assume a current I1, I2, I3, I4. These are the currents. Let us assume. Now, I am applying KCL to this circuit. Kirchhoff's current law to this circuit. Okay. So, I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4 plus 5 amps. Okay. This 5 amps is also flowing in downward direction 
is equal to 10. Okay. Algebraic sum of the currents entering, algebraic sum of the currents entering to a node is equal to currents leaving the node. Okay, here it is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4 plus 5 is equal to 10. Okay, in case of parallel circuit, the voltage is same across each and every element. Along the first resistor, the voltage is V. Along the 2 ohms resistor, the voltage is V. Along the 5 ohms resistor, the voltage is V. In 11, 10 ohms resistor also, the voltage is V. Okay, now by using basic ohms law, basic ohms law, what is I? I is equal to V by R. Okay, here what about I1? I1 is equal to V by 1 and I2 is equal to V by 2 ohms. I3 is equal to, what is I3? V by 5 ohms. I4 is equal to V by 10 ohms. V by 10 ohms. Now, I am replacing all these values in the above equation. Say, let us say this is A. Okay. Replacing I1, I2, I3, I4 in equation A. That is V by 1 plus V by 2 plus V by 5 plus V by 10 plus 5 is equal to 10. Okay, taking V as common, 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 10 is equal to 10 minus 5 is 5. Now, which is V into 1.8 is equal to 5. As a whole, V will be 5 by 1.8 which is equal to 2.77 volts. Okay, V is equal to, what is this V? E is equal to 2.77 volts. Okay, now if you want to find the current across first element, if you want to find I1, what is I1? Is equal to V by 1, which is 2.77 amperes. And if you want to find current I2, that is V by, that is 2.77 by 2. This is I2, 2.77 by 2, which is 1.38 amps. Similarly, I3 is equal to 2.77. 77 by 5 which is equal to 2.77 by 5 which is equal to 0.554. Similarly, I4 is equal to 0.277. Now, what happens is if you add all these things that is I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4 plus 5 that is approximately will be equal to 10. Okay. So, algebraic sum of the currents entering through a node is equal to algebraic sum of the currents leaving the node. Okay. This is about KCL. Thank you.